Hello and welcome to my channel and today I didn't even pick this basket up because so much stuff's going to fall out of it. It's been it all by it with B. So welcome back if you are a returning subscriber or viewer and a very warm welcome if you're new here. Please do consider subscribing if you are. Right, let's get, oh I've already dropped one. This is going to be a disaster because I've got so much stuff balancing on my knee. My favourite wipes from Primark, buy these every time, bye bye bye, love them. These don't dry out my skin. For all skin types, what more can I say? Love them. Talking of micellar water, an actual bottle of. Now, um, I did use a lot of micellar water and I've sort of gone off it a little bit. I've tended to move over to the more, you know, the reusable um, face cotton pads or the reusable um, cloths so I'm trying to use those a bit more but I did have some of this left and I'll be honest with you I use this to clean my makeup brushes and if you've never tried using micellar water to clean your makeup brushes it's fabulous I did a video when I very very first started on YouTube showing how to do it and it's honestly it's excellent really really gets all of um, you know if you've got um, eyeshadow, foundation, powders, whatever. Pop a bit of that on, give it a good old scrub round, leave it for a bit to soak, wash it off. Brilliant. I think I got that from Home Bargains for $1.99. It's the Derma V10 range. I prefer the Garnier one if I'm going to use one on my face, but for my makeup brushes, it's fine. Finally used up the rest of this. This is something I got from Primark ages ago. It's called Pollution, Pollution Solution. It's a daily skin starter. And this, I don't really get on with gels that often, but I really like this. I used it as, oh, there's a bit left, um, like a gel sort of primer, really. I used it under my makeup. And do you know what? I don't know why I stopped using it. I think because I got near the end of it, I thought I've got to find something else. And actually, there's a bit left. But yeah, it, I got it on offer, actually. I think, I can't remember. I don't think I paid £5 for it. I think it was £5 full price and I paid 250. So it's the Alex Steiner, might have that wrong, range and yeah, I would but I would buy that again. I really liked it. This is one of the I don't know if you've heard of this. It's a perfume. Well, it's a brand. Oh, it's FM World. That's it. I can see it on the back. And they do um like copy um perfumes. So this was the copy of Chanel Chance, and I have to say, it's very, very good. The perfumes that I've smelt so far that are copies are really, really good. Don't get me the wrong, they're not as strong as the originals, but they're something like £20, £22, and when you think for something that size, 50 mil, in a full-on brand, you know, it's at least double the price, so yeah. Definite recommendation, definite buy it again. Something I won't buy again is this. Um, I like this in another fragrance. It's just this one I'm not keen on. So it's a Superdrug hairspray. This is the Ultra Firm Hold. The one I normally have is in a purple can for Ultra Firm. Not Ultra, Extra Firm. But they didn't, in fact, that one's harder. Oh, that's a number five. I think the other one must be a number four. I didn't like the fragrance of it and I didn't like what it did to my hair. I don't very often feature face masks and this I thought was going to be ridiculous because look at it. I just thought it was a kid's face mask. I got this, I worked with a company a while back and they sent me loads. When it came out of the packet, it was black. I couldn't believe it. Do you, don't you find face masks when you put them on, you look like some sort of blooming weirdo. <laughs> Even more so. But I love the fact that it was black. Anyway, I liked it. I really liked it. It's lavender and I don't normally like lavender. I love the fact that it was black. In fact, actually says it on it. Lavender moisturising black mask. Must have missed that. Um, yeah, love that it was black. Love that it was lavender. And I really wish I could tell you where I got it from because I'd definitely buy that again. I loved it. Got through some more of this smirk. I worked with these ages ago. Finally got through it. Teeth whitening, toothpaste. Yeah, I like that. I think it's quite expensive though. Uh, it lasted me ages, I have to say. It's like a powder. 
So if you're looking for something to whiten your teeth and you're not on a massive budget, because I think it's about 20, 25 quid, I would recommend it if you can afford to do it, because it is pretty decent. This was a lovely soap my friend bought me, Michelle, a Naturals Peppermint and Eucalyptus. This was a very sort of natural type of soap. I liked it. It was really nice, made your um, skin feel very clean. And it's from the Little Soap Company. Not sure how much they cost. They're plant-based. But yeah, like that. Love the smell of it. Um, depending on what the cost was, I would buy that again. Floss Harps. I think these are Poundland or Home Bargains. Um, 75 pack for a quid. Uh, I think you must know what floss harps are. If not, I'll get one to show you. That's it. Down the old tooth or teeth. Clean in between. Do you know what? As I'm getting... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Here we go again. As I'm getting older, my teeth are starting to move and they're starting to get stuff in between them. So the floss, floss harps are a definite requirement. And I have to say, some are better than others. Hair colour, I love this. This is the Casting Creme Gloss by L'Oreal and it's in the colour Sweet Honey. This at the minute is my favourite um, hair colour. I like it as well because my hair's not holding the colour anymore as, as much as it used to. So I'm trying to use them without ammonia, which this one does. Um, they don't last as well. They're, they're not permanent dyes, but I am finding these for me last as well as the permanent dyes at the moment and I dare say that'll be for the foreseeable so I'm going to start using the the slightly more less damaging um hair colors I, I think it says you get what is it 28 washi washies out of it I get probably about 10 but yeah so that I got from Superdrug for £5.49 love 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 the color of it this is it after five washes so as you can see yeah it's not bad it was a little bit more golden when i first did it a little bit not red well a little bit small sweet honey in fact love this this was another body moisturizer by garnier it is the ultimate blends do you know what i'm not i'm not overly keen on the smell of this it is maple it's got castor oil in it yeah it's got a bit of a a funky after smell but as moisturizers go it is fabulous i love it it's really really nourishing it's got a bit of oil in it as i've just said castor oil so if you well it actually says it's non-greasy non-sticky and i i think i would say it is but a little goes a long long way it's for dry and rough skin so for anybody who's got slightly drier skin um, it's quite good as hand hand cream as well and I love it because it's got the pump on top and I think I got these on an offer I've had this I must have had this for about two or three years um, I, I think I bought two for a fiver um, yeah I definitely buy that again because I love it like I say not skin on the smell but um, as moisturizers go it's fantastic one of these sneaked in because we had a week away on holiday so I always take one with me rather than a bar of soap don't know why I tell you why, because I've got so many that I've bought on previous hauls, I need to get rid of them. So this is a foam burst and it's the lychee and lotus flower. I hadn't used this one before, but I did like it. Um, I won't buy it again because I'm now over to soap, but if I was to buy a foam burst again, I would buy that fragrance. Yeah, it's nice. First lot of nails. I've not got many nails in here. I've been uh, going au naturel recently. Anyway, these I used on my holiday. I'll pop in a picture right now. Fiery Fuchsia, and I got those from Home Bargains. They were $1.99, which for elegant touch nails is an absolute bargain. Um, and I think I managed to uh, take them all off without damaging them too much so I can reuse them. So yeah, definitely we'll be buying those again because I think they're beautiful. This is controversial. Not for many. Well, maybe it is because it's got that sort of <laughs> bottom and bit at the front. Do you know this? I swiped this out of the bin, Alan's bin. So this is one of his favourite um, aftershaves. It is the Jean-Paul Gaultier. Gaultier. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's one of the original aftershaves from Jean-Paul Gaultier and I hate it. Absolutely hate it and he absolutely loves it. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you and your partner, male or female, have completely conflicting scent, loves of scent. Most of the scents that Alan wears or fragrances Alan wears, I absolutely love, probably because I buy them all for him. But this, I, do you know, I bought it for him. Can you believe I'm saying that? I only bought it because I know he loves it, so I bought it for him. I don't like it. He knows I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it, but I don't. So this is an interesting one. For me, I would bin it every day of the week, but for him, I'd buy it every day of the year. Cotton wool pads. These were from uh, Poundland. I've left one in here to show you. I thought these were pretty naff, actually. Yes, nondescript. I suppose for a pound, 100 pads. Do you know, actually, I think I prefer the Primark ones. So I might not get those again. I might have talked about this on my last home, uh, my, not my home bargains haul, on my last empties. And do you know what? I fished it out to use it. But, yeah, I fished it out because it still was a full. And I've put it back in. So it is the St. Moritz Gradual Tan. And it is... I don't know if it's an overly dark one. Golden Glowing Tanning Moisturiser. Anyway, I used a few of these over the summer just to put on my legs to see how we we'll, we get on with them. And it's going back in the empties, almost full. I just didn't like the smell of this. And I didn't think the colour of it was that good. I bought some others on... A few of you gave me some recommendations on Gradual Tan, which I bought and I like much better. So unfortunately, St. Moritz, I know you cheat, but you're going in the bin. So that's it. That's that one done. I will split this into a number of videos, so make sure you keep an eye out for the others. I'll sort of put those on maybe once a month or something like that. So Thanks for watching that one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do give me a big thumbs up if you have and drop me a comment down below. I, need, I know I kept saying that throughout the video, but I do love hearing from you. And if you're not already a subscriber, maybe you might consider hitting that button now it is absolutely free to do and without further ado i'm off see you on the next one bye for now